On Twitter, shouldn't the president be fact-checked, especially this president who has made so many false and misleading statements that it has put, you know, fact-checkers to work across the world? I mean, he's uttered some 18,000 false or misleading statements, according to the Washington Post. Uh, if there's any president out there who should be fact-checked, any political leader out there should be fact-checked, isn't it President Trump? And aren't you trying to silence fact-checking by going after Twitter like this? Look, well, first I would say I disagree with um, all, if not almost all, of those assertions that you're making there because, look, if you're going to get into the fact-checking business, President there's Trump no lied. one that should be fact-checked more than the mainstream media that has been continually wrong about a number of things. To give you a list of some of the most egregious ones, um, that ABC News in December of 2017 falsely reported that Flynn would testify that the president directed him during the campaign to make contact with the Russians. That was false. In 2017, your network CNN botched their WikiLeaks email exclusive and were forced to make on-air corrections. CNN's Jim Shudo, another CNN one uh, dropped a fictional bombshell in 2018 July claiming that Michael Cohen would tell federal investigators that the president knew of the Trump Tower meeting and there are many more not to just put the onus on CNN there so if anyone needs to be fact-checked I think it should be the media there are, there are news outlets that make mistakes from time to time we own up to those mistakes we correct those not mistakes. always I have many you guys haven't owned up to I could get to we do on a, on a regular basis the president never owns up to any of his false or misleading statements or outright lies uh, you have pledged in this briefing room to never lie to the American people. Are you saying that the President of the United States has never lied to the public before? I'm around the President. His intent is always to give truthful information to the American people. And you mentioned that the media apologizes for their mistruths. I mean, I'm sitting here looking at other headlines in the New York Times saying there aren't enough ven ventilators to cope with the coronavirus. In fact, we had an excess of ventilators we've shipped around the world. Washington Post, U.S. health system is showing why it's not ready for a coronavirus pandemic. We were ready. There's many more I could get to. I could, on the coronavirus specifically, I could spend the time going through these, but I don't think that's what the American people want to hear.